be messed up. My dog is in the back. My dog is choking right Get now. Get out of the car! Keep your hands outside the window! My hands are right here. What's going on? Get out of the car now! stops keep them on edge because they can sometimes be so unpredictable you never know what will happen Absolutely nothing wrong. Lieutenant Nazario obeyed one command, keep your hands outside of the window. He tried to de-escalate. He tried to find out what was going on. As, as I was telling him, you know, I've pulled over to well-lit areas before, and I've never looked out the window and so a gun so, blazing in, so, immediately. So, so, the, so the reason we did that is because we followed you for a mile and a half with lights and sirens on and you didn't pull over. I understand you want to get to a well-lit area, a, le a well-lit area. I get that. But when we follow you that long, A lot of people look at that and they say, hey, look, if he just gotten out, he wouldn't have gotten in any trouble. But you have a lot of people like me. I understand 100 percent why he was afraid, even as a, even as an active serving military person in uniform, was literally afraid to get out of that car without more assurance. And what happened to him, you know, was despicable. Those officers initially reacted relatively well, in my opinion. What they missed, though, was the opportunities to verbally de-escalate that situation. As this thing kind of gathered legs and became viral, I, I personally felt that there was no way he could effectively serve our community anymore at that point. that it appears that instead of admitting full responsibility and issuing an apology, the chief of police in the town of Windsor have 
continued the victim blaming narrative that my client did not comply. We believe that's patently contradicted by the evidence.